स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एलियर सेशंस वे हैव कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर नंबर 16 डाइजेशन सो नेक्स्ट वन द चैप्टर नंबर 17 इन ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी रेस्पिरेशन ब्रीथिंग Respiration, breathing, exchange of gases. Next chapter, chapter number seventeen. Okay, students. Uh, in digestive system chapter, we discuss regarding about digestion, the process of digestion, and finally. After completion of digestion process, what are formed students from the food? Energy. Yes, yeah, students from the food material. What are formed after the completion of digestion? Glucose, amino acid, fatty acid, glycerol. Yeah, glycerol. So those are all different forms: amino acids, glucose, fatty acids. is it all so those are reaches to where students which region tissues and cells mm. cells and tissues through blood blood through the blood right so whenever the end products of the food reaches to the tissues uh, cells region and those are utilized in by the cells and the religious energy there are those are utilized by the cells and religious energy and in the presence of oxygen in the presence of oxygen so students tell me one point is there any organ is presented in our body for production of oxygen no sir no sir no sir so from, from where we will get oxygen atmosphere from atmospheric air atmosphere so from the atmosphere we will get the oxygen and in the presence of oxygen only the cells releases energy by the utilizing of different types of the anti products of the food material so oxygen is essential for our body and after the utilization of the oxygen what is releases from the cells carbon dioxide yeah. carbon dioxide is atp so intake of oxygen and exit of carbon dioxide is takes place by which process the process of respiration breathing. the process of breathing the process of respiration and breathing comes under in which system students respiratory, respiratory system respiratory system so in this chapter we are going to discuss about what is respiration what is the significance of respiration what is the type of respiration and next one different types of respiratory organs and respiratory mechanism in different organisms and human respiratory system okay students right so let us start so before going that first one what is meant by respiration what is the definition of respiration so withdrawing of withdrawal of of atmospheric oxygen atmospheric oxygen into our body and carbon dioxide from cells or exit 
and exit of carbon dioxide. Ah, uh, if I write here like this, body and cellular carbon dioxide exit from our body. The process is called respiration, or you can call it as breathing. Breathing. So, what is meant by respiration? Withdrawal of the atmospheric oxygen into our body, and along with that, oxygen withdrawal is required from the atmosphere to body, and along with that, whatever the cellular carbon dioxide is formed by the metabolism. The carbon dioxide also need to be exit from our body. That is that process is takes place by respiration process. So now, in human respiration, in respiration process, what is the major difference between respiration and breathing? Are both are same? Sir, different. What, uh, yes, students? Anybody? Inhaling and exit. Inhaling oxygen exists of carbon dioxide, but in respiration energy is released, sir. Very good. The major difference between breathing and respiration, breathing means exchange of gases only. Yes. Exchange of gases. Which gases students? Oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. So what about uh, Respiration in the respiration, resp in the respiration, exchange of the gases also include plus what is there? The oxygen in the presence of oxygen, the cells releases energy. Those that is called respiration. Are you understanding that now? Breathing is the part of respiration. Okay, students, right? So I can mention your breathing is sir. Respiration is a catabolic or anabolic process, sir. The process of yes, sir. Releasing energy. Respiration releases energy. In the presence of oxygen, it is releases energy. So the breathing is the process of uh, breathing is the part of breathing is the part of respiration. Part of respiration is one of the part of respiration breathing processes clear students right so why oxygen only required for our body students we are discussing oxygen intake of oxygen from atmosphere to body so why oxygen only required what is the reason and why carbon dioxide is need to be exit from our body? Are you understanding or not, students? Why oxygen only requires for our body? We already discussed it. In the presence of oxygen only, the cells releases Hemoglobin. more energy. And carbon dioxide is not essential for our body. Carbon dioxide is not helpful for our metabolic process. Are you understanding or not? Okay, students. So oxygen only intake required, and carbon dioxide is not required for our body, so that only carbon dioxide is need to be eliminated from our body. Clear? So that oxygen required and carbon dioxide is elimination. Right? That process is respiration. And breathing means only exchange of gases. Respiration means exchange of the gases and releasing the energy of that's sir, respiration is a catabolic process or anabolic? Sir. Students, last uh, 10 minutes questions, any questions you have. So, in this chapter, what we are going to discuss about the types of respiration and different types of uh, respiratory organs also. Okay, students. So, in the process of respiration, oxygen is compulsory needed or in the absence of oxygen also respiration is takes place. Yes. In absence also takes place, sir. In the absence of oxygen also, the process of respiration is takes place. Takes. So based on presence and absence of oxygen, the process of respiration 
is divided into two types two different basically that is called anaerobic respiration next one aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration means what students in the absence of uh, oxygen oxygen in the absence of oxygen anaerobic respiration is takes place and very less energy is religious so very less energy is religious in anaerobic respiration so what about aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen in the presence of oxygen sufficient oxygen the respiration is takes place that type of respiration is called aerobic respiration So aerobic respiration students more energy is religious less energy is religious in the anaerobic more energy is religious in the aerobic respiration okay students so anaerobic respiration is the character of which character the primitive organisms the primitive organisms exhibit anaerobic respiration like bacteria and different types of the microorganisms are exhibits anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration most of the organisms are exhibits in aerobic respiration so what is the difference between anaerobic and aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration releases less energy aerobic respiration releases more energy and anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen that is the major difference between anaerobic and aerobic respiration Are these clear, students? Right. So, intake of oxygen and exit of carbon dioxide by the process of the breathing is takes place. And what are the different types of respiratory organs and type of respiration in different organisms? First, we will discuss before going to discussion of human respiratory system. Okay, respiratory organs in different organisms. so we have already discussed we had already discussed in animal kingdom chapter yes students so we have the knowledge of different respiratory organs in different organisms yes students remember or forget them yes students remember. yes so organisms respiratory organs respiratory organs in different types of organisms in organisms so respiratory organs in different types of the organisms presence of respiratory organs based on what based on yes students habitat 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 means living environment on what type of the habitat the organisms are lives based on that only respiratory organs are present okay students so respiratory organs are present in organisms based on living habitats based on living habitat All right students so here aquatic organisms have some of the respiratory type of respiratory organs and terrestrial organisms has some of the type of respiratory organs. so first of all we should take the primitive organisms in the sponges Phylum Porifera and phylum Silentirata and the phylum Tinophora, phylum Tinophora and phylum Platyhelminthes, Platyhelminthes and the phylum Askhelminthes. Is there any specialized respiratory organs are presented, students, in this phylum? Yes, students. Yes or no? No, sir. There is. There are no specialized organs formation in the region of in the phylum of uh, sponges, cilindrated, dinosaurs, platyhelminthes, and oxhelminthes. Specialized uh, respiratory organs are not developed. So, how the process of respiration is takes place? So, throughout the body surface, throughout the throughout the body surface. The process of respiration is takes place. Yes, students. Respiratory organs are not presented throughout the body surface. By which process, students? By the process of 
diffusion what is meant by diffusion students what is the meaning of diffusion exchange of gases of gases diffusion means exchange of the gases okay there are no development of any type of respiratory organs in these organs special respiratory organs are not developed so what about uh, anelida in phylum anelida we already discussed in that one what is the respiratory organs in the anelida students my skin very good the moist is cuticle the moist skin only respiratory organ through the moist skin the respiration is takes place moist cuticle through the moist cuticle the process of respiration is takes place that type of respiration is called cutaneous respiration cutaneous cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration so what is the type of respiration means cutaneous respiration what is the respiratory organs in anelida means moist skin only okay students and what about arthropoda in phylum arthropoda there is different types of respiratory organs we discuss based on the habitat terrestrial arthropoda has what type of respiratory organs students terrestrial gills book gills lungs book lungs are present in book lungs and terrestrial tracheal systems The tracheal system is developed. In Bacros, we discussed the development of tracheal system. Pyricles, tracheas, and tracheoles are formed. So these are for what? These are for terrestrial arthropods. And what about uh, aquatic arthropods, students? Gills. 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 Book gills formation also takes place in the region of. Aquatic arthropods. These are the habitat different types of respiratory organs. So, which phylum first develops specialized in respiratory organs? That is in Analyta. the arthropoda. The Analyta specialized respiratory organ is not there. Yes. That is also through body skin only, moist skin only. Arthropoda specialized respiratory organs are present. Okay, students. So, what about molluscan students? Molluscans. In the phylum Mollusca, what type of respiratory organs are present? Feather gills. Feather gills. Very good. The gills, tinea, gills, tinea are the respiratory organs. So gills or tinea are the respiratory organs. And these gills are called vascularized structures because of those are supplied with the blood, and along with that. Vascularized sacs also presented, or vascularized bags also presented. Those are called lungs. For example, in mollusca, aquatic gills. And what about the terrestrial molluscans? In the terrestrial molluscans, yes, students. So there is vascularized bags. Vascularized bags. Those are called lungs. The vascularized structures are gills, and vascularized bags are uh lungs because of the blood supply in these things please clear students in the molluscans the type of respiratory organs are present so what about echinodermata students in echinodermata what are the respiratory organs any specialized respiratory organs are present in echinoderms no, by an echinodermata no sir no sir water vascular system diffusion In a kind of matter, through water vascular system only the process of respiration, gas exchange is takes place. So, what about a hemicordata? In hemicordata, what are there? Yes, students. Pharyngeal. Pharyngeal gills. Gills. Hemicordata. There is presence of pharyngeal. Pharyngeal gills. Means through the gills only the process of respiration is takes place. Through the gills, the process of respiration is takes place. Such type of the respiration is called what type of the respiration, students? Through the gills, the process of respiration is takes place. Such branchial. type of the respiration name branchial respiration. Good. Such type of the respiration is called branchial respiration. Clear, students? Through the skin cutaneous, through the gills, branchial respiration. And what about uh, in the cordates? Most of the cordates, uh, 
and the mostly vertebrates has what type of respiratory students respiratory organs primary vertebrates yes students respiratory organs are what lungs lungs the type of respiration is pulmonary respiration clear yes, students so these are the different types of the respiratory organs in different organisms sir so respiratory organs presented in the organisms based on what based on their living habitat so sponges penetrate the nocora cladi elementis and ask elementis throughout the body surface is specialized respiratory organs are not developed throughout the body surface by the process of diffusion only the respiration is takes place and what about anilida in the anilida the developing of moist skin through the moist skin only cutaneous respiration is takes place by the process of diffusion and what about arthropoda terrestrial arthropoda has book lungs and tracheal system as a respiratory organs and uh, in the aquatic arthropoda gills and book gills are the respiratory organs in aquatic arthropoda and in mollusca gills are the respiratory organs in india and vascularized bags lungs are the also respiratory organs and hemicordata parangel gill slits the hemicordates consist with parangel gill slits so through that only gills only the process of respiration takes place in acrodermata respiratory organs are absent through water vascular system and what about in the chordata basically all the vertebrates has there is lungs as a uh, respiratory organs so what is the type of respiration students by the lungs the type of respiration is called pulmonary respiration right through the gills what is the type of respiration students through the gills the type of respiration is called the yes, students through the gills the type of respiration is called branchial, branchial respiration. respiration branchial respiration this is clear right next one so next one humans human respiratory system as to the diagram students the diagram of human respiratory system
Yes, students. So one minute. Okay. Yes, students. Finish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. The human respiratory system. The human respiratory system. First, I will explain the diagram labeling. Important. So, complete human respiratory system presented in the region of a thoracic cavity. Thoracic cavity means. The upper side of the diaphragm is called thoracic cavity, and the lower side of the diaphragm is called 
abdominal cavity. So upper side of the diaphragm consists with the thoracic cavity. So the thoracic cavity consists with the respiratory system. So in the respiratory system, what are the parts? So nose also included, external nostrils, nasal chamber, internal nostrils, pharynx. The pharynx is leads into larynx. In this diagram from larynx given, larynx and la opening part of larynx. The first part of the larynx is covered by epiglottis, small cartilaginous structure that is called epiglottis. We already discussed in digestive system. So larynx further leads into windpipe that is called trachea. The trachea divided into two branches, right and left bronchi or bronchus, single bronchus. Two, right and left bronchi. And bronchi further divided into primary, secondary, tertiary bronchi and finally divided into bronchioles. So the branches of the bronchi are called brachios. So these are all brachios. So next one, the brachios consist with the, the small air sac like structures. Those are called alveoli. In the alveoli only, the gaseous exchange is takes place. Okay, students. In this diagram, diaphragm obviously. Diaphragm which is presented below region of the both the lungs and this all located in the region of thoracic cavity. And lungs are safely protected by the presence of the ribs and ventral dorsal side, vertebral column, ventral side, sternum is presented. We will discuss in the theory, diagram explanation only here. So epiglottis, so it is the flap like structure, cartilage in the structure, epiglottis. Next, larynx. Is the larynx, voice box, sound producing part. And next one, trachea. Trachea are also called in the brackets you can write. That is windpipe. And next one, the trachea divided into two branches. Yes, that is called bronchi. And bronchi further divided into primary, secondary, tertiary bronchi. And that is also further divided into primary, secondary, and tertiary bronchioles. Finally, terminal branchials also there, and those are finally opens into the region of the small milli ear sacs or apex. Those are called alveoli. In the region of alveoli, only the gases exchange takes place. And diaphragm. The diaphragm made up of the muscles. So it is also muscle, diaphragm muscle. And next one, ribs. And the flora given, flora means outermost membrane of the lungs is called flora, outermost membrane of the lungs. Lungs are surrounded by the membrane that is called flora. The description again we will discuss. Okay, students, right? So this is diagram explanation. So now in human respiratory system, what parts are presented in human respiratory system? Location, structure and function we will discuss. Okay, students. So here, human respiratory system parts. So external nostrils, external nostrils, next one, nasal chamber, and next one, internal nostrils. Internal nostrils. The next one, pharynx. Pharynx opens into glottis. Further leads into larynx. And opens into the region of trachea. Trachea divides into bronchi and bronchioles and finally alveoli alveoli 
and you should remember important point that we in this among these parts which are presented inside of the lungs inside of the lungs which parts are presented so bronchi further divided into bronchioles that complete bronchi branches branches of the bronchi and bronchioles also and along with alveoli those are all presented inside of the lungs are you understanding or not up to prime this up to bronchi left bronchi and right bronchi only up to left to left and right bronchi only presented outside of the lungs and left and right right bronchi enters inside of the lungs further divided into branches so all the branches are the bronchi and the bronchioles and along with alveoli are presented inside of the lungs Dear students, many are represented outside of the lungs only. So, what are the parts of a respiratory system, students? Yes. So, external nostrils, nasal chamber, internal nostrils. Next one, pharynx and glottis, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. Okay, students. So, bronchi and alveoli. is a presented inside the lungs what is this clear students yes so air passes inhaling of the air and exhaling of the air is takes place through which route what is the route of air passes same in the same route only you can remember external nostrils air enters and through the nasal chambers air enters in internal nostrils from the pharynx to glottis glottis to larynx larynx to trachea trachea to bronchi bronchi to bronchioles and bronchioles to alveoles in the alveoles the gases exchange is takes place we take up oxygen and exit of body cellular carbon dioxide is takes place we take up atmosphere oxygen and the cellular carbon dioxide exit is takes place under this clear students yes yes sir okay now let us discuss regarding about each and every part what is the function structure and location right so here so the nose uh, consists with the uh, two different types of the parts majorly external nostrils one pair of external nostrils are presented and the nasal chamber is presented so external nostrils and the nasal chamber so what is the function of external nostrils how many external nostrils are there students external two. nostrils one pair one pair of external nostrils are presented so what is the function of external nostrils inhalation of atmospheric air inhalation means intake of atmospheric air the next one exhalation of cellular carbon dioxide atmospheric air that is oxygen by right, students inhalation of atmospheric air oxygen inhalation and exhalation through nostrils external nostrils only takes place and the air is enters into the students nasal chamber the nasal chamber so what is the function of nasal chamber you can observe in the nasal chamber the nasal na nasal chamber has small cilia hair like structures are presented and the mucus glands also presented secretion of mucus so nasal chamber secretes mucus and the small hair structures the hairs are presented in the region of nasal chamber so what purpose whenever we are inhaling the air the filtration of the air comes also is going to be enters so filtration of dust particles and whatever the air we are inhaling the air is converted into our body temperature so humidifies air humidifies in the region of nasal chamber 
so this is a, a natural air condition system is presented in our body air condition system why we are using ac air condition because outside temperature is more then we can keep the temperature inside the room temperature is low and outside temperature is less we can keep the room temperature in the high as like that the natural air condition system is present in natural air system air condition system is presented in our nasal chamber right students so nasal chamber function consists of the key for what purpose students because of filtration of trapping of dust particles filtration of dust particles and next one there is secretion of mucus what is the purpose of mucus students yes so mucus humidifies the air humidifies the air the mucus humidifies the air so air converts into our body temperature so we are inhaling cool air or we are inhaling a uh, heat hot air then it converted into our body temperature understanding us okay students so that is the function of nasal chamber and from the nasal chamber the air will move into that air will passes into which is students internal nostril so how external nostrils are there as like that internal nostrils also present so from the internal nostrils the air is passes into the region of air passes into the yes, students passes into the region of pharynx into the region of pharynx so regarding about pharynx already we discussed with the digestive system it is a common junction for yes, students regarding so about pharynx we find find what food and and vein also so in the region of pharynx air is enters into the region of further larynx and the trachea and the food is enters into the region of the esophagus okay students so here so pharynx comes in digestive system and respiratory system also we discuss in the region of the pharynx yes so it is the junction of food and air and pharynx is directly opens in the region of glottis part of the larynx glottis part of the larynx okay students and air will passes further in the larynx trachea and tracheoles and trachea trachea bronchi bronchioles and finally enters into the region of the alveolus and then this clear students yes once again i am revising this points external nostrils one pay what purpose what is the function inhalation of atmospheric heat oxygen and exhalation process cellular carbon dioxide is going to be exit what about nasal chamber in the nasal chamber air and mucus is located nasal chamber which is helpful air is helpful for the purpose of trapping of the dust particle filtration of the dust particles and mucus humidifies the air right students and where air turn into the uh, body temperature condition in the region of the nasal chamber mm -hmm. next in the internal nostrils internal nostrils as like external nostrils internal nostrils also presented they passes into the region of the pharynx the internal nostrils directly opens to the region of pharynx so pharynx is the junction of for food and air the pharynx is directly leads into the region of glottis part of the larynx okay students so remaining further parts we will discuss in the next session Okay, students. Any doubts? You can ask now. Sir, sir, anaerobic respiration is catabolic or anabolic process, sir? Respiration is catabolic process or anabolic process, sir? Respiration releasing energy. Releasing energy means catabolism, gaining of energy. Anabolic means, sir? Anabolic means energy required. Energy required. That is anabolism. So energy is liberated. That is catabolism. Both are called metabolism. Sir, anaerobic okay. respiration you, takes sir. place in uh, humans also, no sir. Sometimes. Anaerobic means ah uh, yes yes I will clarify. Anaerobic means what? In muscles, no sir. Anaerobic anaerobic respiration means complete absence of oxygen. Okay, students. 
but in very low oxygen condition in human muscles anaerobic respiration is takes place in the muscles lactic acid formation is there yes sir lactic acid formation uh, that is very very less oxygen during rigorous uh, physical exercise or training yes. so whatever the microorganisms processes that is complete lack of oxygen oxygen is not available yes. not available also then it processes there no lactic acid is produced no sir no less glucose two glucose only formed two atp uh, are formed yes sir in aerobic that is six atp are formed yes more energy thank okay, you sir. students is there any else doubts no doubt sir no doubt sir okay, students remaining we will discuss in the next session okay thank you very thank much thank you sir bye sir thank bye you sir. sir bye sir thank you sir bye sir bye sir, bye, sir.